Hello and welcome to a map by Heyo13579. I can never remember the numbers. Alright, there is a thing rendering in the background which, if you didn't see what it was, then don't worry about it. If you did see, then you know. It's the video that was possibly posted. Anyway, check out my YouTube channel. The uh, actual page to download this map will be linked below, which I believe has a link to his YouTube channel. Kill two birds with one stone. Otherwise, you can look him up. He is Heyo13579. Uh, rules, no cheating, duh. Well, it's not really a rule. I mean, the rules are supposed to specifically tell you what is cheating. Anyway, stay in adventure. Okay, so no mode changing. I am an adventure. Good. If you're found cheating, you will be punished. Have fun. I don't want to cheat. I will not cheat. Don't worry. Um, just going to grab a few of these things. I got new recipes unlocked. Am I on the snapshot? I am. Uh, I actually don't know what version this map is supposed to be played in. However, I mean, it's probably fine. Momentum. I mean, it is just a parkour map, so I'm guessing... Oh, okay. <laughs> the lag from that rendering is going to make this a little difficult. It should only be a few minutes. There is... N okay. At one point, it said there was no checkpoints. However, uh, it does appear that at least per section, there is a checkpoint system. I am not especially good at parkour, however, uh, he did ask that he wanted to have someone play in post-video. That was the tutorial? Oh. I'll be honest. I kinda, kinda hoping that was the whole map. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. So I guess, yeah, there isn't checkpoints. This map is called Devil's Parkour, by the way. Which, what? Oh, there's barriers. Okay. I was like, why? Why didn't I not in lava? Okay. It's at 80%. I'll not render. Just FYI. So I apologize for the choppy video and my bad jumping skills. I'm going to continue to blame it on that render, even though uh, when it's done, every jump is possible. When it's done, I'll probably still be missing these jumps, but, yeah, no, that's okay. Um, okay, it's almost done. Come on. Come on. There we go. It's just, it's at 99%. There you go, you hear that ding? That means we're good. Video should be less choppy now. I just failed the jumps that I was getting while it was rendering. Okay. Now, I would say, oh, um, one of my greatest criticisms about parkour maps is there's nothing to keep the player going. Uh, that's why I always encourage placing, placing, placing some kind of a story system in it, or at least um, some kind of a scoreboard. So. Uh, this is a very popular map. I believe it's on Realms now. Or at least, or it's been on Realms for a while, or whatever it is. Uh, I believe it's called 10 Minute Parkour. Um, and that map is, it has no story or anything, it's an entirely parkour map. Uh, but it has two aspects that make it really interesting. It has, what in the world? I guess I have to jump to that. Oh, I guess, there we go. Um, it has the aspect that you have all these different rooms, and it's like almost like a puzzle because you have to. Is that jump really possible? I guess momentum. Um, you have to figure out where the jumps in the room are actually located. And then the second part is there's a score system, and it's competitive between you and the other players. And that's my phone that's buzzing there, which I will need to answer. So we're going to do that, and we're going to be right back about parkour maps. We're back. I failed to jump a few more times in between there as well. Um, yeah, cause, yeah. I have a thing coming up here. 
Uh, which is why this video might not get on on time, but that's okay. So. So. So, so, so. Uh, where was I? Parkour maps. Yes, so the 10-minute parkour does an excellent job. It's a competitive map between multiple players, and it has that almost puzzle-like feel to it. Um, and, I mean, it's on Realms, and we all know that Realms is top-quality maps. That's the best the community has to offer. At least that's the goal. Um, now, this map uh, is basically just you repeating the same jumps over and over. Uh, I understand it's supposed to be difficult, and that I'm not very good at doing these jumps, uh, but I would say something to keep the player engaged, because we all know that doing the same thing over and over does eventually get kind of boring. Um, there are certain, certain things that you can do over and over that don't get boring, uh, because you just want to improve at whatever it is you... What am I doing? There we go. Yeah, because you want to improve. Uh, but there isn't a timer or a scoreboard or anything in this map for you to improve on. I really hate that jump. So, yeah, that's about all I have to say on that subject. Well, all I have to say right now, at least. I don't want to cut, because I am prone to cheating, <laughs> and it's just a little too tempting. Um, I do cheat in parkour and 60-minute maps and stuff like that, but I do that all live on camera, uh, just so you can see. My reasoning being that I don't want the videos to be just me failing over and over again. It should be about creating the map as a whole. And because if I get frustrated, I might just, you know, dock some points out of frustration, which wouldn't be fair to the map maker. I guess you have to go to the very edge of that block, but I just cannot time it very well. Hmm. Now is where we look to see if we can cheat. I'm pretty sure he's blocked everything off with barriers, so I'm not sure you can cheat. But if it's possible, I will find a way. It would also be nice if I could land that. There we go. <laughs> For some reason, I never stand on the corner. Okay, there and there. Is there anywhere to cheat from here? Doesn't look like it. Also, I didn't momentum that, so I'm not going to make that. Apparently, I'm not going to make it anyway. I might end up... No, I probably won't speed this up, even though I don't really have anything to say while I'm jumping. What should we talk about? I'm sure there's something interesting. Um... Hmm. Not good at coming up with topics on the fly. That's why every everything I do is just speed up, because then I don't have to talk. Um... Let's see... I don't know. What did I learn in school today? Nothing, really. What did we talk about in school is probably a better way to put that. Um, no, nobody wants to hear about World War II. Uh, let's see. I don't actually remember what I did in school. Sorry, academic institution. I shouldn't call it school. It's an academic institution. Sounds more formal. Nobody wants to hear about World War II or trigonometry or anything. Like They're very boring topics. Or function stats in trigonometry, I guess. Technically. Um, Alright, I'm going to lay in this jump. Ready? Can I shift there? Okay. Then we want to back it up. forward a bit. Oh no, I just... Okay. I realized that was going to happen in the last second. Um... Hmm. Guess we could talk about... 
books. Nah, that's a boring topic. Let's judge things. Alright, so this room um, has a hole in the ceiling. So I would I would fix that. Kind of ruins the aesthetic. Uh, I would say there's probably enough glowstone in this. Uh, if I'm being honest. The slime locks in the floor are interesting. Can't wait to get to that part. It's probably only going to take a few hours. I do like the use of obsidian as the uh, main jumping block. Uh, I would say... Oh, there's that. Uh, I would say that probably adding some kind of actual aesthetic to the parkour itself. So maybe using nether brick and, make, and making it look like nether fortress pieces. And uh, what you could do is have another fortress stand there, and then have a pathway that's covered by netherrack here, built here, and then this is just pieces of pathway that are jetted out. That would be cool. As for over here, uh, this one could be another tower leading up to a blaze spawner. Uh, obviously, you wouldn't actually have a blaze spawner here, but you could have some kind of aesthetic element. Uh, maybe put a blaze spawner in the wall kind of to look at it, but it's on peaceful so it doesn't spawn blazes. It's just there for looks. That'd be cool. Um, in the center there we have another just kind of pillar. Uh, I wonder if you could do anything with that. It doesn't look like there's any reason for that pillar. Uh, it's just one ladder on it, so Maybe, I don't know, just get rid of that pillar, turn it into something else. Maybe use some netherrack and make it a like a floating island. That'd be cool. Um, what else could we have? You could have some kind of a, a lava traversing ship uh, over where that fence parkour is, and then you're parkouring on the mass. Obviously, you'd, you'd have to kind of trial and error to make sure there was no cheat jumps, or I missed that jump. Uh, no cheat jumps, or uh, checkpoints that were unintended. Um, hmm, what else we got? Additionally, uh, you could probably, if you got rid of the lava under the slime block, um, or just made it so if they were standing on a barrier, uh, just teleport them back to the start. Uh, I'm thinking testing for two block or a block down, or not, two blocks down is probably a better bet. Uh, you can just test for the lava, and then um, make sure there's no lava under slime blocks, and that way uh, it reduces the chance that they would fall and hit this slime block here uh, correctly, and then get teleported back. Um, because it might pick up on the barrier if you're not careful uh, if you're testing for those. As for the actual end, I can see it's just a button. Um, I would probably turn that into something more appealing. Maybe add some gold or something to the end. Um, Story-wise, you could probably improve it. Throw in some kind of story about uh, maybe the evil leader Pikmin. Uh, or evil leader of the pigmen has stolen away all the gold in the world. He's hoarding it. That's what you're trying to get to. Uh, if you're going for the, the devil's parkour theme, which is what the map is called, uh, maybe the devil has trapped you in this endless hell of parkour. Um, and it's actually a nightmare. It's, you're not actually physically here. Uh, but to escape, you have to reach... Uh, the edge of your dream, and then you could add some uh, kind of cloud looking type things over there, and then have like a little pathway leading out, and it's to have you walking out of your dream, and you step on a pressure plate, and it would teleport you uh, to a small cabin type thing with a bed next to you, and then you have some ending scroll text, and bam. You have a story. Um, the glowstone, hmm, what can we do about that? That actually probably is fine aesthetic-wise. 
uh, it doesn't really impact it. I would say they're all kind of uniform shape. It looks like you used a sphere brush. Um, but I mean, clumps of glowstone do kind of spawn like that, so it's probably okay. Um, okay, that's about all the improvement ideas I have. Uh, just making the scenario more kind of, I don't know, fulfilling. I would also get rid of this stupid soul sand jump that I've been stuck on for the past half hour because it's really irritating. Um, an idea actually, you could have a timer running on the sidebar. I cannot land that jump. A timer running on the sidebar, and then uh, if people want, and uh, give people eggs uh, that spawn an entity that, um, when used, uh, summon an armor stand, kill the entity, and add time to their uh, score. Uh, I don't know what you'd guess is a fair time, maybe an extra minute or something. Um, but that establishes a checkpoint, just so you don't have to go through the whole thing again. Uh, especially once you get past those slow jumps, it's going to be really irritating to have to go back through them again if I fail. Okay, well, I've been making recommendations for however long, and... I was expecting to have gotten past the jump by now, but don't know. Running out of things to ramble about. I'm not gonna make that jump. All right, I'm cheating. Is there a cheat anti-cheat system? Oh, there is an anti-cheat system. Okay, you probably shouldn't give them poison for that long. Um, actually. No, I was going to say, this is let me cheat, but no, it doesn't. Hmm. Okay, we're going to cheat. Uh, let's see. We'll cheat to right here, I think. This looks fair. Boop. Alright. Master cheating. Okay, I'm going to cheat past this too. We'll go to the fences. I'm comfortable with fences. Oh, there's even multiple paths. Alright, I apologize for cheating on your map, Heyo. However, I also can't sign up. Um, I do really want to get this video out as soon as possible. So we're going to cheat. Just to try and give it that shot of getting out on time. Alright, I'll redo that, because that's a fair section. Better if I actually land on it. There we go. Oh, it's not going to work, because I don't have momentum. There we go. Okay. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to go.